Well, I don't know how much it needs to be heard, but no, no, we want it to be heard. I was, um, I was actually on a road trip with a very good friend of mine who's a, a Phoenix cop, and we were um, driving to Las Vegas, and we were stuck in traffic at the Hoover Dam and kind of swapping war stories, and he tells me about this uh, thing called the 999 and explains to me what it is, and he's never been on one, but... Um, a lot of cops can actually go their whole career without being on one, but it's just, so it's like the it's the highest form of police police code. So if um, if you're in a gunfight, cops in a gunfight, a firefight, they're under serious distress. They call a 999. All the police in the, in the city or surrounding areas stop what they're doing, converge on the downed officer. So I asked him, I was like, "Hey, stop." So if a 999 is happening in this part of the city. What's, what's going on in the other part of the city? And he's like, well, it's kind of, it's basically on police. And I just thought it was a great impetus for a movie. So I went home and just got started writing, you know, outlining. And then lo and behold, here we are. So, yeah. While you're writing this movie, do you, do you have, like, actually what comes to your mind, like, oh, my God, it's perfect for this? Uh, you know, it's sometimes, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. With this one, not particularly. I think with this one, it was uh, more about, you know, the genre and, you know, the movies that, I drew inspiration from Prince of the City, French Connection, he, you know, Training Day, all those sort of great cop, um, not necessarily, and not necessarily heist dramas, but cop dramas. So um, I was kind of thinking more about the elements that I liked about those and kind of incorporating them and, and then flipping them, you know, kind of on their side and figuring out how to tell something unique. So in terms of cast, it's, it's so hard, you know, it's so hard, but couldn't be happier, yeah, you can't, I mean, it's one of the best casts yeah, assembled you, in a long yeah, time. When you finish a script, it's like your baby, and when you, get, you know, you kind of like, have to kind of give it away, and how do you, um, like, maintain that, oh, you know, this is going to be a good one, or how, how, do you, uh, how do you make sure that it's going to land in the right hands and deliver into the project that you envision? Well, you know what, film is a director's driven medium, so you have to think long and hard about who you want to direct it, and... You know, the proposition has always been one of my favorite movies. In fact, I signed with my manager because, at the time, I didn't even know that he also represented Hilco, but he had a proposition poster behind his desk, so I knew he had good taste. And uh, besides getting along with him, I was like, "All right, here we go." But um, so, you know, I, I just, John is like he comes. He was gonna bring, bring it from a, a more auteur angle, and I thought that would help, sort of, you know make it more unique you know maybe not not less commercial because obviously you know we want it to appeal to a lot of people but um i guess be less expected you know like you know just sort of so you don't you things don't hit you as like they would in a popcorn movie you know and, and john has a a really good instinct on kind of finding ways to pull that kind of thing out so um he was actually the first director um i sent it to and so it's fortunate enough that Have he responded to it yet? yeah and you're satisfied? Look, I mean, I think, yes, I'm very satisfied. No, no, I'm very satisfied. I'm, I'm trying to, like, it's, it's hard to put into words because, you know, I wrote it six years ago, and here we are. So it's, yes, I'm, I'm very, very satisfied. Um, you know, it's such a, it's just such a long journey, and, you know, then here you are, you're walking down this, and, you know, the movie's coming out soon, so it's just it's a lot to take in. So, but, yeah, I... I the whole experience has been uh, unbelievable.